Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm bringing you another video today about the wonderful OBS Pulse FX, I should say, uh, program on Ubuntu Linux. It's kind of the best equalizer that there is on this platform. I'm going to talk through it today. Now, I did a video about last year in which I kind of went through Pulse FX as well, but I went through like every setting and everything in that uh, program. And I wanted to record a slightly snappier update just to kind of get to the key things that might change the audio. Now, just want to firstly say what I'm recording with. Ubuntu 2204, 20.04 LTS, I think 20.04. I must admit I've become a lazy Ubuntu user. I just upgrade whenever there's a new LTS release. I'm recording into OBS Studio. I'm recording using the Audio-Technica AT2020, AT which is an XLR studio microphone. That is going into the Behringer Euphoria UM2 audio interface. That is connected via USB. In terms of levels, 60% uh, gain about on the audio interface. I, f I think that's the sweet spot where I don't get clipping. Um, and in because this is an Ubuntu video, I'll show you guys quickly my uh, setting here in Pulse Audio. It's actually 100% as in 0 dB as in there is at the level it's supposed to be. And if I can uh, unlock the UI for a second, I'll show you guys the audio mixer. I'm applying a minus 4.3 uh, gain in OBS. And that's just to try to stop it clipping, clipping, clipping. I'm speaking intentionally loud. So you can see it's kind of, uh, you know, getting up to the level, the, the yellow area uh, when I'm speaking in a normal, uh, normal, in a normal voice. So let me just put my audio mixer back where it belongs. Um, what I want to do for today's video is to show you guys um, Pulse Effects, uh, how to use it, and what you might want to change. So the first thing to say is if you are using Pulse Effects is an equalizer, that means it can change the different uh, volume of different frequencies, you can apply effects, and Pulse should give you a clue that it's related to uh, Pulse Audio. Uh, so it's part of that, it works with Pulse, Pulse Audio. And it's a really nice program. It's it's in the default repositories, so you should be able to do a sudo apt apt get install pulse effects, and it should just install. So as installing a bunch of programs goes, pretty easy. Now by default, you're looking at you can see look up look up here in the top left where my mouse is. You can see by default it's editing the output, right? So think about it. If you had your computer hooked up to an iSound system this would be pretty useful. You could be playing music and equalizing the output. But obviously when we're talking about equalizing microphones for recording, we're talking about working on input. So other side. So the first thing you want to do is click onto microphone. Um, now the way this works is pretty useful. Um, the best way to explain this is by, I'm just going to bring myself a bit smaller, is by thinking of you know, perhaps a pancake or something like a little row of layers. So you have your microphone connected to your computer and then that microphone is going to be sending its sound off to different applications. So rather than apply changes to the input to the microphone, it's going to be applying changes and getting kind of between um, the program. So in this case, I'm speaking into my Audio-Technica microphone that is then recording into OBS. So OBS is taking the microphone stream and what we're gonna do here is put the uh, pulse effects between OBS and the microphone. So we have the microphone coming into the computer, then we're gonna apply some effects in OBS and then that input stream with the effects will go into OBS with the changes. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure that's clear, but that's kind of the way that this program works. So in other words, not to belabor not to belabor the point but if i didn't want to if i just wanted to change my microphone to obs and not in another program i could do that so the first thing to say is while i'm recording in obs and now the microphone you're listening to is running through pulse effects and you can see that the different frequencies have started to appear there um we can see the whole across from 20 hertz all the way to 10 hertz and as I speak, they're going up, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so next thing we can do here is we can say, okay, well, where the effects are going to be um, applying, we can just turn down the 
microphone a little bit. So 100% and watch as we go down. You can't hear me. You can't hear me. Can't hear me. Can't. Now you can hear me. And I'm just going to kind of leave it there at about 90%. Now I'm going to just show you my OBS for a second. I'm going to turn off the preview window so we don't get the, uh, this is what it's looking like. So, okay, back, back to this. So now we've got our um, little offset here, a little bit too high actually, uh, 89%. And now we can apply some effects, some effects that we may wish to apply. So the very useful one I would say is equalizer. So you can click into equalizer and until you actually uh, click on this, you're not going to be, but now once I've clicked it in the left menu, we can see our equalization is beginning to um, apply. Somewhere. So I needed to click on the settings thing, click on um, the presets, and you can also apply presets. Now you can see just like any kind of equalizer, you're going to have your, you know, presettings for bass. If you're kind of a bass fan or uh, you're listening to vocals, ballad, classic, club, dance. So these kind of more bass and treble. Um, so let's just go for more bass. I'm going to apply this now. So as you can see, we have now applied a preset and if all is working correctly, my voice should sound a little bit different. Now let's go up to dance and apply that preset and we've done it again, more bass. Now you can also start at a preset and then change things. So you can see the 60 hertz, 60 hertz frequency here is currently um, increased by 10. I can just push this up so I can start with the preset and now that you can see, I can see I'm clipping based on my level meter and then play around with the preset. But so the preset can kind of be a good uh, starting point and you can work from there. So now watch what happens when I'm gonna take off the equalizer. So I just need to untick there on the left and now we, we don't have that equalized. Now I, I said I was gonna keep this, trying to make this simpler than my last video. So I'm going to not really um, skip over the ones that are not so useful here. But for example, here's a, here's a nice one. You do have a limiter. So these are also available as effects in OBS. I'm going to assume a lot of folks watching this video are looking to use it as, I, as I'm doing in conjunction with OBS. So yes, there is a limiter as an audio filter in OBS. On Ubuntu, there is a compressor. Um, there isn't an, e an equalizer. So if I said that, I'm mistaken. So you can do some, you could, you, you could do both. You could have audio filters and this, but I think it makes more sense to work in one application. So I'm going to take off the limiter. Uh, there is a compressor here as well and just as in you know any compressor as you'd expect you can change the attack i'm going to make myself small again release threshold ratio uh knee and makeup i'm going to take that off multiband compressor pitch modification which is kind of you know always a good one for pranks if you want to uh increase yourself by <laughs> Can do that. Um, stereo tools uh, will allow you to um, change between the balance of left and left and right on a stereo matrix here. And what you can do is mute one channel. So I'm actually recording uh, as a mono input, but what you can do is uh, mute one channel if you wish to do that. And I'm not going to go to rest. I think that's going to be enough. So those are basically uh, that's how you can use. Pulse effects in conjunction with OBS Studio. Um, if you don't like the way your microphone naturally sounds, this is a good way to uh, change it up a little bit and try to get a setting that makes you sound better. Of course, the best thing to do is put on some monitor headphones. And I've got another video on this and monitor. So obviously, you know, you can actually hear what those changes are sounding like. If you want to watch that video, search for OBS Studio audio monitoring and I explain how to set that up so you can monitor in OBS once the um, equalization is passing into it. So you don't need to actually monitor in pulse effects. Hope this video is useful. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to get more videos from me about all things related to Linux, technology, marketing, and more, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.